Hello, Chris here from ePianos. If you are trying to figure out what the differences are between the Yamaha CLP725 and CLP735 here, then this video is for you. There are many things that are the same on these two models, of course, but the purpose of this video is to explain what the important differences are between the two models to help you decide whether it's worth spending that little bit extra to go for the CLP735. Have a look at our website for the latest deals and offers on digital pianos and keyboards, and don't forget our huge selection of pre-owned models as well, and make sure you're signed up for our free newsletter that contains voucher codes, special offers, tutorial videos, demonstration videos, etc. Now firstly let's have a look at the cabinet designs themselves because as you'll see um, the 725 is quite is relatively low. Uh, look at the frontage on these two and we've got quite a um, a low down top on the CLP 725. The 735 uh, has this um, much uh, taller front to it, a um, bit more of a, a box shape, perhaps a little bit more like we'd expect from a traditional um, piano. The CLP725 is 849 millimeters high, the 735 is 927 millimeters high, so not, not uh, enormous differences but quite different to look at and quite different in their cabinet style. Overall the 725 can really be considered a compact digital piano, great for small spaces, little houses, uh, university halls, um, man caves etc, uh, up in your office perhaps. And the 35 is really more like a traditional piano stroke piece of furniture that you might have in the sitting room or in a, a communal living space where it kind of looks the part as well. I should mention also that the weight of these pianos is quite different as well. The CLP725 is comparatively light at only 43 uh, kilograms, 735 is 57 uh, kilograms. Now both of these nowhere near the weight of a traditional piano which of course is quite a thing to move. It's one of the reasons that digital pianos are becoming much much more popular is they're so easy to move around. Um, the 725 I have to say compared to the two it, it is it is easier to move around without doubt it's uh, quite a bit lighter and I find moving it around the, our showroom here very very easy. 735 I can do on my own um, but it's much easier I find have somebody standing at the other end lifting it up and you can quite easily move it around the house. Of course this means you can put it upstairs as well if you need to. The way that you control these two pianos is quite different as well. Uh, the CLP725 um, by design is uncluttered and simple. Um, there are controls down here and it's once you figure it out it is quite simple because there's not a great deal you can do on this piano. It's really just a turn it on and play style piano. But the things that you can do, changing the voices, recording, mixing voices, it's not immediately obvious to be frank with you when you sit down and play this one. Uh, all the functions, some, many of them are tied down in key combinations and it's to do with the design of course. They want to keep it very very simple. Um, so that's, uh, that's just a fact. That's how it is. That's just a fact of the design and uh, it's not the most straightforward to sit down and find your way around with. And maybe you won't mind this in fact, if you, all you want to do is sit down and play the piano then CLP725 will just offer you that. But don't be surprised whether once you learn about uh, some of the things that these pianos can do that you do want to go exploring and you do want to have a little bit of fun, uh, in which case it's very very helpful to have a uh, operating system and a you know, built-in system that's easy to navigate and find your way around. 735 is quite different. Um, although it shares a very traditional design and although if you wanted to just use it as a turn on and play piano you can do that. Turn it on, it resets to piano every time. But a quick glance to the left side of the piano is a, a neat little LCD screen which is pretty much telling you what's going on with the piano. It'll uh, show you what sound you've got selected. Um, navigating the different menus to do different functions is very easy and in our showroom when people have sat and tried these pianos you find that they can flick their way through the pages and figure out how to do things relatively quickly and relatively simply. 
Now if you liked the sound of just plugging in and playing then there's one other feature that uh, CLP735 has that 725 doesn't and that is called piano room. Function is quite sympathetic for those people that do just want to turn it on and play because you press the piano room button and it immediately resets everything to piano. Sometimes I call it the emergency just go back to piano button if you're inside a sub menu it just takes you back to playing piano but it gets a bit better than that because you have different ways that you can alter the piano sound as well. For example uh, you can lower the lid of a grand piano which does really alter the tone and give you all sorts of different um, uh, tonal possibilities. You can do things like change the environment that you're playing in as well. So you can have the um, reverb effects of uh, playing in a small room like I'm in here or in a large hall or even a cathedral which gives a tremendous amount of echo and reverb and if you're using piano and orchestra or if you're using one of the organ sounds indeed having that cathedral style reverb is a really wonderful thing to do particularly if you mix it with the choir as well. So operating the two pianos uh, both are very very simple but 735 is definitely more user friendly and of course that has benefits going forward as you learn about the extra features and functions that are available to you. Now when you are learning to play the piano it is very very useful to be able to record what you're playing and then listen back to it. And if you're a composer of music or a songwriter, it's very, very important to be able to record what you've created. And it's even more useful to be able to actually record it on the piano itself. You can record on both of these pianos and you can save your recordings to the memory. Uh, even if you turn the piano off and back on the memory, will uh, the recording will still be on there but there's significant differences between these two models. Uh, CLP725 is actually quite limited because it will only allow you to record one song and two layers on top of that song so I could perhaps record myself playing piano with a string part on top or I could play piano twice. I could play a backing bit of piano and then play a melody on top if I was writing a song. CLP735 however offers far more capacity with slots for um, 250 song recordings. So there's a major difference in the onboard capacity of these two pianos. Um, it also, instead of only allowing two layers in a recording, you can layer up 16 separate tracks in a single song. And you need to think that with the extra voices, um, 38 voices apart, uh, compared to 10 on CLP735. This is things like strings, guitars, uh, synths, pads, all sorts. Um, there's way more scope on CLP735 to be creative um, when you're composing to layer different voices on top of each other. And, um, and I know what this is like as a, as a uh, composer of music. You, sometimes you just want to put down your ideas and store them and you'll come back to them at a later date. Being able to do that with only one song on CLP725 is, is a major limitation. 735 gives you 250 song recordings, so it's just much more sympathetic for creative types and also learning to play as well. It's so useful. Uh, in fact, uh, many teachers that teach on these pianos will store their students' pieces or store um, left hand and right hand parts, have the student play it back with just one of the parts while they learn the other hand's part. And again on the subject of learning to play, it seems to me that 735 is just much more tailored to people who are learning to play. Um, another indicator of this is the fact that it includes 303 lesson songs uh, not featured on CLP725. And these are a selection of very commonly used piano pieces that teachers around the world will be familiar with as they're often assigned to students that are learning to play. Um, both models, I should say, do have 50 pieces of classical music pre-recorded in there of varying uh, levels. Some extremely complicated, some quite simple, and you can split those into left hand and right hand, practice the other hand, uh, the opposite hand, while they play back. And they also both come with quite a nice 
um, sheet music book that contains the sheet music for all of those pieces. For me, the most practical purpose of, uh, of that function is to um, open the window, turn the volume up, and convince your neighbours that uh, you're actually a, a world-class concert pianist. More practically, you're able to play back the left hand and right hand parts individually, which allow you to practice the opposite parts uh, one-handed and eventually, of course, learn to play them both together. Ask yourself, would you ever want to take what you've recorded on either of these pianos and put it on a computer? Um, I'm guessing that you might want to do that. That's you know, how many people use their instruments these days. Um, it's considerably easier, in fact so so much easier to do that on CLP 735 than it is on the 725. All you need is a USB memory stick that will allow you to take your recordings off CLP 735 and plop them straight into a computer for doing whatever you want to do with it. CLP 725 does not have a USB to device uh, socket, the uh, the oblong one that we're all familiar with. So you cannot put a USB stick in a 725 to take your recordings off. You can take your recordings off, but it does get a little bit complicated as you've got to use the headphone output into some sort of interface uh, and then into a computer, but it's rather a pain to do. 735, as I say, easy as putting a USB stick in, taking your recording off, put it in a computer. Um, it goes a step further than that because 735 gives you the option to rec uh, convert your recording into the more computer-friendly uh, WAV file as well, um, which is like an MP3. It, it means essentially that you can take your recording off the piano, put it into any computer, and it will sound exactly as you've recorded it on the piano, which is what you'd expect. But on 725, you can only transfer MIDI information, and that means if you if you manage to get the sound off of this and put it on a computer, it would not sound as beautiful as the 75 sound. It would rely on my your computer having good piano sounds within it. Hardly any computers do. So 735 simply makes it much, much easier to take your recordings off and put them share on a computer for whatever purposes. 725 is actually quite a complicated thing to do, not made very easy for the user. 735 actually trumps 725 on several other connectivity issues as well. Um, CLP 735 has the standard MIDI in and out and through connections. There are no MIDI connections whatsoever on the uh, CLP 725, apart from you can take it out via a USB to host cable. Um, the 735 has a dedicated audio output and input for that matter. 725 has none. In the process of making this video and experimenting with the various ways to do this, it, it struck me that 75 is actually doing everything it can to make it difficult for me to take recordings off. 735, it was a cinch, and I figured it out without having to read the manual, which is uh, which is good for me. The actual playing experience itself between these two pianos is markedly different. Um, and in our showroom, it's more often the case that when folks switch between these two instruments, the biggest smiles on the faces come when they sit and they play the 735. Uh, the main reason, uh, as you'll hear, is the speaker and amplifier configuration is much better on the 735. 725 being an entry level one, only has smallish speakers and amplifiers, and it has a noticeably uh, tinny sound compared to the 735. But the bigger reason that 735 seems to put um, smiles on faces of people when they sit and play it um, is because it has this technology called binaural sampling on both of its main pianos. In these two models, we have two of the world's greatest concert grand pianos, the Yamaha CFX concert grand and the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand. Um, the binaural sampling technology is a work of genius from Yamaha. Um, essentially what it is, is um, they've, when they took the original samples from pianos, they didn't just take one sample um, and have it come out both of the speakers. They put uh, microphones on uh, on a mannequin where the ears are and sit it in front of the piano and they out of the speaker on the right hand side will come what was recorded in the right hand ear and it's the opposite on the left now this really comes into its own 
when you are playing with headphones because it gives you this fantastically engaging immersive experience where you play a note and it really does feel like it's coming from this side and you play a bass note and it really feels like it's coming from this side and the 735 has this on not just the Yamaha but the Bosendorfer as well it's not on the Bosendorfer on 725 and when you sit and you play the Bosendorfer with headphones with the binaural sampling on it is quite a magical experience the sound is lovely and I could sit and play it for ages as you you've probably seen in the video but that's one of the major differences between these two and it people love it when they try it in our showroom you can see it on their faces they get carried away with it it's really quite striking so if you get the chance to try it in a showroom 735 has that and it has that all important magical ingredient which 725 just doesn't have on the subject of playability, there are more sensitivity settings available on 735 than there are on 725. There are six settings in total on 735 and only four on 725. This means you have more scope for altering the touch sensitivity of these two pianos. And what that basically means is if, like me, you have rather a heavy touch when you play uh, on the piano, this allows you to give it a bit more of a thump but compensate for it. So instead of the piano speakers sort of barking back at you and saying you're playing too loud, um, you can change the sensitivity so you can play with the same uh, velocity that you usually do, but it it kind of compensates and reacts to it so it doesn't um, you can adjust it to your own playing style. There are more ways to adjust this. As I say, there's six in total on 735, only four on uh, 725. So again, a little bit more um, sensitive to you customizing the piano to your own playing style. And overall, you can probably see there's a bit of a picture building here that 725 is really an entry level piano that's not not really tailored to how we learn and how we play, 735 opens up all sorts of possibilities and is just way more uh, sympathetic to how we play and how we learn today. CLP 725 really begins to look rather like a basic model, uh, which it is to be fair. And I must mention that both of these models um, are compatible with Yamaha's excellent smart pianist app on uh, iPhone, iPad, uh, and Android as well now, uh, which is loads of fun. And uh, do check out our video of it here to see what it's all about. Now, once you've done your uh, learning for the day on these pianos, um, or if your patience has run dry, or if your child's uh, attention is lagging somewhat, uh, the CLP725 doesn't really offer much else to keep your interest. In fact, it is rather one dimensional in this respect. The 735 uh, in comparison does have uh, some fun features for you to enjoy. One of them is the ability to add an accompaniment to your playing. And it's, it's not as elaborate as you might have seen on some of the Yamaha CVP models that have all sorts of singing and dancing ryth rhythms and backing bands and orchestras. But what CLP 735 will do is give you um, lots of different styles, in fact, 20 different styles, where it will give you a drum beat that will play along and it will also have a bass guitar join in and match what you're playing. It actually detects what you're playing on the keys and will give you an appropriate backing. So this feature is really fun to play with and from a teacher's perspective um, any way that a student can stay on a piano and play that piano is a benefit because you're learning. At least you're not watching TV or doing something else and you're learning muscle memory in your fingers and you're learning how to play and you're becoming familiar with it. Um, 725, rather one dimensional, doesn't have those extra options on there. There's also a split feature on the 735 which allows you to simultaneously have one voice and one sound on your right hand like piano and another one on your left hand like upright bass guitar or strings so you can mix the two sounds together on one keyboard and it's just another way to kind of enjoy yourself and just have a bit of fun and mix up the sounds a bit. So in summary when you compare these two models when you compare their capabilities and specifications um, it's quite clear that CLP 735 
is the one that is more sympathetic to the way that we learn today and the way that people play today and the way that you want to connect your music to your computer and connect it online. We expect good connectivity from our digital instruments today and CLP735 delivers this, CLP725 does not. In fact, CLP725 is surprisingly under-equipped for the price that you'd pay. The CLP735 is most certainly a better assistant to you as you're learning to play, whether you're an adult that's returning to play um, or whether you're a youngster or you have kids that are learning to play. There's no doubt CLP735 with the features it has in there is going to be of more practical use. And regarding the playing experience itself, um, as I mentioned, the 735 has that all-important ingredient magic. It can transport you if you play it in the right way, particularly using the headphones and the lovely Bosendorfer Imperial piano with the binaural sampling. And 725 just, just doesn't really move me in that way. And I've noticed it doesn't really move people in our showroom that way. Um, like the 735 does. The CLP725, while having the lower price tag, it is rather strangled by its limitations in hardware and software. And I can't help but think your ability to express yourself as you're learning to play is going to be similarly strangled because you can't express yourself through it. You can't do anything a little bit outside of the ordinary, you can't connect it to the computer either. All of these things are fun. All of these things make you want to keep making music. They make you want to go to your piano and play. And 725 doesn't quite deliver that. 735 certainly does. So my advice is don't artificially limit yourself with the CLP725 if you can afford not to. The jump to 735, financially speaking, is not a huge one approximately four to five hundred pounds but the benefits that it brings will pay you back or your or your student back or your child back with interest during the long period of their learning journey over the years thanks very much for watching i hope that was helpful to you if you have any questions just leave them in the comments section below or you can always ring us up of course or send an email or come into our showroom here in banbury near oxford to come and try the pianos for yourself Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.